This video is about the order of operations, and that's really the order in which you do do your adding, subtracting, multiplying, dividing. Um, some people remember the order using one of these acronyms: uh, BOD mass, BID mass, PED mass, or PEMDAS. Sometimes I can't remember which way around that is. So people in the US might um, recognise one of those. Um, and really, it's it's about a way for mathematicians to make sure that they're all doing their sums in the same way. So it's what we call a convention. Um, it can be a bit of a, a pain um, because you have to remember certain rules about um, the order in which to do a sum and sometimes it's not what you expect. Um, and People find it quite difficult because they think, well why can't I just read left to right and do those sums in that order? Um, but there is a reason and, and the reason is that sometimes it would be impossible to write a single sum in one go um, without a sort of, sort of ridiculously complicated set of instructions. Um, so for example this one we're going to do later, look, yeah, if, if you have to do the 1 times 5 before anything else um, but you're subtracting it, you don't want to be going back and saying right well now take away the number that you first worked out. You want to be able to write things in um, a single line of work. Anyway, that's enough babbling. Um, this question here is a really simple one, but it catches people out all the time. People do 2 plus 3 uh, to get 5, and then they times their answer by 5, and they get 25. Now, you can easily check that's not the way that um, things work in the world of mathematics. Um, if you just get your calculator and you type in 2 plus 3 times 5, um, it will give you the answer 17, not 25. Um, that works on a scientific calculator. If you've got a bog standard, you know, cheaper calculator, not scientific one, then it will do the 2 plus 3 first and then times by 5. But um, a scientific one knows how mathematicians work. This is the way mathematicians work. We always do division and multiplication before any adding or subtracting. So when you see a sum like this, you need to be writing down the next line down that you're going to do the multiplication first. And a good way to do this is just to link these two together and say, right, I'm going to do that step first. So 3 times 5 is 15. And then just copy down straight below anything else that you haven't changed. So we've changed the 3 times 5 into a 15, and we've left the 2 plus there. And that's how the calculator gets its answer of 17. 2 plus 15 is 17. Let's take that rule that we do timesing and dividing before we do any adding or subtracting and let's apply it to this one. So this one has got some timesing and dividing in it and this should happen in the same step. So any timesing and dividing, multiplying and dividing, do in one step. So we're going to tackle this bit here to make 8 and we're going to tackle this bit here to make 3 and keep anything else just exactly the same. Once you've done that you should be left with just adding and subtracting. In this case just adding 8 plus 3 makes 11. Right, one last one before we move on to the next step. So the, the key thing here on this page is just to understand that we do dividing and timesing before we do any adding or subtracting. So we have 16 divided by 8, which is 2, 2 times 3, which is 6, and 1 times 5, which is 5. Keep the symbols in between the same, and now you can do your adding and subtracting. And for your adding and subtracting section, you should just do that from left to right. So we read left to right, 2 plus 6 minus 5. 2 plus 6 is 8, minus 5 gives us the answer 3. So the theme there, the, the summary there really, is that you should do any multiplying and dividing in your first step, and then you should do after that any adding and subtracting.
Okay, what happens when we have brackets involved? Well, brackets um, can change the order of operation, change the order in which you do your adding, subtracting, multiplying and dividing. So here, this one, we should follow the, the rules established on the previous page and we should do the 5 times 3 first and that should give us the answer 17. However, if you've got brackets involved, you should do everything inside your brackets first. And inside those brackets, you should also follow the rules of the orders of operations, the bod mass or bid mass or pendas, whatever you're going to call it. So that means we do this bit first, 2 plus 5. Notice how the brackets have changed the order. They're telling us to do the, the addition first rather than the modification which we would normally do first. So it's the same sum, just got brackets in this position and it actually turns it into a different sum, into a different um, calculation. We do the 2 plus 5 first and we get the answer 21. Let's try that again here, we've got some brackets going on this time we've got 20 minus 4 plus 5. The brackets come first. Everything else stays the same. And then on the next line down, you can do your next bit, 20 minus 9, which is 11. Now, just have a look at this one here. So, in this one, the brackets tell us what to do first, but within that, We've got quite a complex little calculation to do and within those brackets we have to apply the order of operations again. So you can ignore this two completely for the moment. We are literally just going to work on what's inside these brackets. And so we follow the rules. We say division and multiplication comes first, like that. Then we can do this 3 plus 12 which is 15 and then we can add those together to make the answer 17. Just make sure that you're really clear inside the brackets you still follow the same rules of division and multiplication first. So if you like we've now added an, another tier to our order of operation. We do anything inside the brackets first then we do timesing and dividing and then we do adding and subtracting. Last up, we have powers or indices. This little 2 here means squared, doesn't it? And that means multiply the number by itself. So here we have 3 squared. The order that mathematicians use says that we do powers before we do anything else. So, 3 squared is going to make 9, and then we do 5 plus 9, which is 14. Sorry, I made a mistake when I said do powers before anything else. The powers actually, you'll see in a minute, um, come after brackets. So, next example down. Again, we've got a subtraction, we've got a multiplication, but we notice that we've got powers to do first. So keep everything the same, but 2 squared, 2 times 2 is 4. Then you can bring those together. Okay, so we've done the power first, then we've done multiplication, and now we're going to do that subtraction to make 0. <coughs> Now this last one really is quite complicated. We've got a lot of things going on here. We've got powers in two different places. We've got multiplication, we've got adding, we've got subtracting. Let's try and apply these rules. Now this is the order in which we're going to work. We're going to do brackets, then we're going to do powers, and then we're going to do timesing and dividing, and then adding and subtracting in that order. So let's work out those powers first. Sorry, let's work out that bracket first. 
I'm getting ahead of the game there. So we keep everything else the same. Now inside this bracket, we have to apply this order. Powers first, times the undividing, and adding and subtracting. So we're just going to do take it steady, do that power first. Then still within the brackets, because we haven't haven't evaluated the, the sum in the brackets there. We haven't evaluated the, the calculation in the brackets there. So we're keeping everything else the same. And within the brackets here, we've got to do the multiplication before the addition. So bring those together. 6 plus 16 times 2 is 32. Now we've still got brackets here, we can do that. We get 38. And at that point, notice how I have got rid of the brackets now. I've evaluated the number inside the brackets. I've worked out, so I don't need the brackets anymore. Now we can start applying these other rules to this sum here, this calculation. So, powers come before adding or subtracting. 3 squared is 9. And then we can do adding and subtracting all in one go. So we get 15. I don't know why I'm writing that again. 15 plus 9 is 24. 24 take away 38 is going to give you minus. 14, I suspect. Yeah. So, that is a really complicated version, but this is the thing you need to remember. Look, your brackets, your indices, your division and multiplication, and your addition and subtraction. Now, this order is where this word, I'm going to stick with bid mass, that's the one we most commonly use. Um, this is where this word comes from. Doing brackets first, then indices, then division and multiplication, then addition and subtraction. But you can run into a little bit of trouble by using bid mass. Let me show you an example. If you do 10 minus 2 plus 5, like this. Okay, if you go a bit overboard on using bid mass and you're not quite sure what you're doing, but you've just remembered this word, you see there are no brackets, you see there are no indices, there's no division or modification, but you see these letters here A and then S. Now, some people make the mistake of interpreting that as meaning you do addition before you do subtraction like that. So in this order, addition first and then subtraction. Let's see what happens if you do that. 10 minus 2 plus 5 becomes, we do the addition first, 10 minus 7, which is 3. However, that's an incorrect interpretation of what bid mass means. Bid mass should be thought of like this brackets, indices, division and multiplication as one step, and addition and subtraction as one step. So if we do this again using those rules, there's no brackets, there's no indices, there's no division or multiplication, but there is addition and subtraction, and addition and subtraction should be done as one step, and they should be done by reading from left to right. 10 minus 2 is 8, plus 5 is 13. And you can see we've got two different answers. The correct answer is got by treating addition and subtraction in the same step. The incorrect answer is got by misunderstanding what this bid mass stands for and doing addition strictly before subtraction. That's wrong. It's correct to do addition and subtraction in one step.